Right, just a quick update, uh, nothing much to say, but I thought you might like to see uh, the thing in mid-flow as it were. It's about 48 hours since uh, since I've made it up and made the original video. Uh, it's bubbling away there. I have wrapped round it, that's called a reptile mat, you sort of put it on um, underneath reptile, uh, what they call terrariums, that kind of thing, to keep them nice and warm. Uh, very useful things actually. Uh, you know, I, I use them for growing seedlings. You probably see them in some videos I'm going to do uh, when I start the, the gardening off for next year. So right now I've got it wrapped around that because it is really, really freezing cold here in West Wales at the moment. We're just having a real cold snap. And it is November after all. So let's go in a bit closer anyway and see how we're getting on. There's a little gap there. Let's just bring that down. There's a little gap in where the, the heated mat goes around it because it doesn't quite reach. And I've just tied it on with, it's actually it's an old silk ladies dressing gown thing. And uh, gosh, look at that. I mean, that's, that must be three quarters of an inch thick in places, that crust on the top of that. And it bubbles away like that really madly at certain times during fermentation. But it's not entirely a steady thing. Um, it's, and that doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong um, if it goes faster and slower. But so uh, whether it's wine or beer uh, that you're making, this fermentation process, suppose they say it takes a week, say with beer, M most sort of quick beer kits take uh, seven days. Well, there might be two or three days out of that when it's really, really going for it. There might only be one day, uh, you never really know. But that's it, it's an organic thing. And uh, every time I, but let's come up and have a look at the, the um, lock as well, because that's bubbling quite radically now let's just turn that round a bit if you're doing this yourself right keep the equipment still and don't move it i've lifted this up by the window to get the light on it but it's the last thing you want to do really is move it at all because um clearing it and getting a really nice end result is all about keeping the uh, the sediment out of it and not stirring it up in any way <clears throat> i know i know it's only a very sort of cheap three-week wine kit um very cheap indeed uh, but you can get good results out of these if you're very careful. Uh, I think what I'm going to do next is get another kit and make it up using my own equipment and the proper Demi John brush. Uh, put some conditioners in it and that kind of thing. Get some really, really nice wine out of a three-week wine kit if you do it that way. And uh, also then I can, instead of this, uh, this, this mad wraparound thing here, I can use my, uh, my brew belt which is big enough to go around a beer fermentation bin, but will actually stretch quite nicely around two demijohns and uh, get them to ferment out even in really cold temperatures like, uh, like we've got at the moment. If you can see out the window there, there's, uh, there's no leaves on any of the trees or anything like that. Well, there's one or two on there, but not a great deal. And it is freezing cold. Um, but this looks as if it's working fine with that wrapped around it. Okay, that's just did a quick update. Uh, there's a bit more to do, probably tomorrow or Saturday, I forget. Um, but yeah, I'll be uploading more and more as this goes along until eventually I, uh, I will open one when it's really young, actually, and see what it's like uh, absolutely live. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, actually, then, then you're bound to get all the future updates. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.